What's going on guys? Hearing with Hardy Tech. Welcome back to Pokemon Leaf Green, the Egg Lock Run. In the last episode, we made our way through Rock Tunnel, which, fun story, until recently, I can never remember the name of this cave. I just, it always left my mind. For a long time, I didn't even remember there was a cave here, so, yeah. And, um, we have these awesome Pokemon that you can see in the borders and blah blah blah. Today we're going to be going to Pokemon Tower and Lavender Town and, do I not even put, I don't have any potions. Okay, that's cool. Today we're going to be going to Pokemon Tower, we're going to be taking on Gary, we'll probably be making it to Celadon as well, so uh, once we get to Celadon, we can also get our beautiful little Jolteon, so pretty excited about that if I do say so myself, because uh, Jolteon's going to be pretty amazing. Did I, I know I said we were going to Pokemon Tower, did I say we were taking on Rufus? I don't remember um, if I did say that or not, so we're taking on Rufus, by the way, in case I didn't mention that earlier. <laughs> That's going to be kind of like the whole point of today's episode is a yet another rival battle. And then we'll probably begin training for Erica. And we'll probably take on Erica next time. And then after that, well, I'm just, I'm like giving you guys like a layout for all the future videos. After that, we're going to be going to Rocket Thingy. And then after that, we're going to be going to that Pokemon thing. And after that, we're going to be going to that one town. And after that, we're going to be doing that one thing. And then we're just going to keep doing a bunch of stuff. And it's just going to be like, oh my god, Hardy, there's so many things going on here. So... Yeah. Uh, so, I think, I believe, uh, Gary's highest Pokemon is his level 25 Charmeleon, which I'm confident Moon can take on. So, let's go have ourselves a rival battle. To start off the video, we're going to have a rival battle. That's how you make something entertaining. You go in there and you just kill things. That's entertaining. Hey, buddy, how's your Raticate doing, huh? Huh? Hey, Hardy, what brings you here? Is your Pokemon dead? No, yours is. Pay attention. Actually, yeah, I do have three dead Pokemon, so I guess I should be saying hi to them. We'll say hi to them after this battle. Don't worry. It's got a level. Ooh! Oh! Oh, okay, that's kind of high level. But I've... Actually, it probably can't do anything in the Kestro, because we... Okay, yep, yeah, that figures. That's nice. Uh, we do resist both the stabs, but that Rock Slide definitely isn't going to... That Sand Attack definitely isn't going to help the situation, so hopefully we can one-shot it. I have a feeling we will, because... What? 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 Really? <laughs> wow. If I would have got one more level with Nekestro, I would have killed him. That makes me sad. Okay, Charmeleon. Um, ah, oh, God, I don't want to stay in so bad, but that sand attack is making me very cautious. So we're going to go into Moon to do the job for us, and then uh, Moon can just dig, because Moon... I'm really trying, like, not to compliment my Pokemon, because we all know what happens when I compliment my Pokemon. They die. Okay, you live. That's cool. And we're burn. Yeah, that's fantastic news. Thank you for burning me, Char- Really? Really? You- You wanna live? You wanna live? Uh, I don't know if he has potions. Okay, he doesn't have potions. If he had potions, I would've been really scared, because I think burn would've killed me. But now we can switch out before we take- Ah, oh, dang it, it's Executor, too. I don't have any bug type moves. I really wish Sipper had a bug type move, but I don't think he's actually going to get one. Even though bug is physical in this generation, like the only good bug type move is Mega Horn in this game. And yeah, oh, well, I don't think he can learn Signal Beam. And yo, know, Twin Needle. Like, no, I'm not teaching him Twin Needle. <laughs> that would just I, he can't learn Twin Needle anyways. Like I said, I think the only bug type move he can even learn is Mega Horn. So uh, let's go with Charcoal. I want to. Try to get uh, Charcoal to level 2. Oh, I should have used Shadow Ball, actually. Uh, anyways, I was going to say, I want to try to get Charcoal to level 24 so that he'll evolve. And then we could have just an amazing, wonderful Pokemon. But another Ambler should kill this thing. Now I probably have to switch out because it's stupid freaking... Oh, okay. Yeah, I got to switch out anyways. Uh, but who do I switch out into? I don't think he'll have any water type attacks. Um... Uh, Nikestro. Nikestro with Rock Slide is like one. I think the only super effective thing I have against the Gyarados right now is the. Wow, okay, you have Intimidate. I didn't think that through. Okay, can we. Oh, we didn't kill this thing. And it flinched. Oh, I forgot Rock Slide flinches. Wow. I should have known that because that's like one of the moves that. Um, what's their names used that I can't remember? Uh, what are they called? Dang it. Uh, the little angel things. I have one and I can't remember his name. Seriously, what is what Dunsparce? Dunsparce likes using Paraflinch Sense since he gets Serene Grace, I think, in 5th Gen. 
might be, I don't know, that might be his like default ability, but I know, uh, no, because he hasn't a fourth gen, but either way, he gets Serene Grace, which in doubles like secondary effects like flinching, so a lot of the times uh, you will have a Dunsparce that'll run like Thunder Wave to paralyze them, and then they'll like Rock Slide or Headbutt or use like moves that have like a 30% chance to flinch. So in reality, it actually becomes a 60% chance to flinch. So not only do they have like the 50-50 paralyzed chance, there's also a 60% chance they're gonna flinch. And yeah, then you're kind of getting screwed over by Undone Sparse, and it's kind of amazing. So uh, actually, someone challenged me to a random battle on Pokemon Showdown today, and I like I don't know why. You know, I figured he had sent me a message on YouTube, and I told him like, oh, if you add me on Skype, I'll battle you. So. Uh, he did that, and so I battled him today, and I ended up getting a Dunsparce that had a somewhat pair of flinch set. It had Roost, um, Thunder Wave, Bite, and I don't remember what its fourth move was, but yeah, it basically had a pair of flinch set, and I was actually like kind of trolling him because I was I killed two of his Pokemon I think with that, and then he ended up getting uh, so apparently for the record a Dunsparce can live an Outrage, not for, it it only takes like 70% damage from Black Kyroom, or Kyroom Black, or whatever the proper name is, it lives in Outrage from that thing. We both thought I was screwed, and then I lived, and I was like, why? What? What just happened? But yeah, so, in case you're ever curious, if someone's got, like, a, a Black Kyroom out, all you gotta do is bring out a Dunsparce, and it can live in Outrage, and then you can just roost, and... Yeah. <laughs> it's hilarious. That, that thing can live it. This tiny little Twinkie can survive an outrage from a giant ice dragon just no it it just doesn't make any sense you're not I know you're not supposed to question the logic or anything but it just it doesn't make sense it just really doesn't but you know it's whatever anyways so I will have a hound doom by the end of this route because I will train this thing until there is nothing left to do except evolve and he will evolve at his next level so uh, even with the Intimidate, I just want to stay in because I'm confident I can kill this thing. I believe in us. I believe in you, Charcoal. Unless... Do I have Flash Fire? Or I don't... I'm kind of curious as to what my ability is now because Flash Fire would actually be really cool to have. And a special defense though. What? No, no, no! I don't want to switch out! No! Ah, I didn't want to switch out, you meanie. Dang it. Okay, super... Wow, Nekestra going Super Sonic? Um, Super Sonic only has 55 accuracy, but uh, I'm never going to use it anyways, so yeah, no. Volpix, yes, let's switch out into our buddy. Actually, really quick, what is this ability? Flash Fire, okay, awesome, that's what I thought. That's really cool. That's something I haven't been checking, is if Pokemon have legal abilities. Because I've just like been checking their moveset, and it just kind of occurred to me that Pokemon can also have illegal abilities. And maybe I should start, you know, taking the time to check that. So, although I'm sure if I would have gotten a legal one by now, someone would have taken the time to point it out because there's always those people who's like memorize every fact about every Pokemon, and they, if they see the tiniest little thing, they have to put on their smarty pants and make your life horrible. So, you gotta watch out for those people because they're kind of rude. Don't use minimize. Oh man, that brings back so. Yep, I knew that's gonna happen. Like when I whoa whoa no 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 you aren't killing my charcoal this close to being a freaking Nidoran or not this close to being a Houndoom no that's not happening but as I was saying this brings back a lot of bad memories of when I was like really young and I played Leaf Green for the first time I ended up having a Venusaur and. I didn't know anything about types at this point because I was like a stupid little 10 year old and I didn't actually like become smart about Pokemon until like two years ago <laughs> which kind of makes me really sad but anyways I didn't realize that like grass resist well I knew grass resisted poison but I didn't know what was strong against it you know I didn't know that psychic and ground were strong against poison so I'm here just like trying to figure out how to beat this thing I'm just going and like razor leaving it and it probably didn't help that I was like, I was really under leveled. So, but his muck, his I was able to get take care of everything except his muck. And his muck would use minimize so much, and it would start acid armoring, and there would just be like absolutely nothing I could do to this, um, to this muck except just die. 
And eventually, I know I ended up beating it, but it was like, that made me like, seriously just, just... Anyways, it just made me, hey, 69, yeah. <laughs> it made me really despise Koga, and I still very much dislike Koga. He's a horrible person. All right, well, let's make a run back to the Pokemon Center. I know Beto can survive the trip. I doubt Tarkal can. I don't, I think it's more than 12, or however long it is, 12 clicks, I guess. I don't know how many steps is equal to one damage, but yeah, Beto can live it. Charcoal, I don't think could have, or if he would have, it would have been really, really close, and I'm definitely not willing to risk it. This close to evolving, we're seriously like right on the cusp of evolution, and I want it so badly. Uh, I don't want a double battle though, so. You, you will be my Pokemon that I will evolve. You will be the trainer that I evolve on. As long as you have, okay, you have a coughing. That's freaking nice. You better not poison me or we're gonna have some problems. I'm, don't you do it. Don't you do it. Don't you do it. Oh, I gotta switch. Dang it. I'm getting trolled by coughing, really? Uh, oh, I just realized coughing is stupid levitate. Okay, let's try mega kicking. We actually hit. That's surprise. Coughing and Weezing are such, like, some really bulky Pokemon, and that, I don't like that. I wish they would just die more often. That would make life a lot easier if they would just die. Like, whenever you see one, all you have to do is just stare at it, pull out your vacuum, go all Luigi on him, and just suck it up. That would seriously be just, like, the most fantastic thing ever. And Pokemon should work that way. Pokemon should do a crossover with Luigi's Mansion. And then you just go around getting all, rid of all the Ghastlies and the Coughings. Actually, don't get rid of the Ghastlies. Ga There's nothing wrong with Ghastlies. You probably have Double Kick, so I'm going to be a smart little cookie. And we're going to switch out into... God, dang, I'm so scared of Poison. I just I don't want to use like anybody against these stupid Poison types, because I know that I will get Poison. It's just like a fact. It's not even... like I can't even... I don't even have a say in it. It's just I will get Poison. The game's just... It's already decided that fact, so... A knit arena. I guess I'll just keep switch training charcoal. He's so close. I know it. He can smell it. I can smell it. We get together. We can smell this evolution coming. I knew it. Double kick. You trying to double kick my Houndor. You wanted to kill him? You wanted to kill my Houndor? You know what's going to happen? You know what happens when you try to kill my charcoal? I kill you, boy. Now you dead. You don't try to attack my charcoal. That's what happens to you. You don't like that, do you? All right, so I'm going to have to remember. Do not do any training on this route because it's literally like nothing but poison types. Oh, look, Meowth. Okay. You're not a poison type. This could be the Pokemon. This could be the Pokemon that I evolved from. Or not the Pokemon. This could be the trainer. This could be that moment. Of course you're going to live with stupid minimum, maximum, damn it. Nice, nice, nice. No, I'm getting close to dying. Come on, give me enough. Give me enough. Okay, that's okay. I could just switch out. Switch training, and I don't think, even if he had Pursuit, i like 99% sure it wouldn't kill me because we resist it, and I don't think Meowth is very great special attack. I think Meowth and Persian are more physical attackers. I mean, what's kind of cool is a lot of time you can just like look at a Pokemon and tell if he'd be like a better physical or special attacker. Like, um, that's not always the case. Sometimes it's hard to tell. I don't know what she's sending out, so I'm just going to go with the Kestro. I, you know, sometimes it's hard to tell, but, um... Like, if you look at an Aerodactyl, you think, okay, this thing's probably just gonna, like, it, it, what do you think, okay, this thing's gonna, like, ram its body into me, or it's gonna shoot little fairy arrows at me? I mean, I think it's pretty sure that a giant rock bird, he's just gonna ram his body into you, so. <gasps> this is it, finally! He's finally evolving, it's only taken so long, but we're finally gonna get ourselves, oh, look at that, look at that Hound Noom Sprite. Look at that Hound Noom Sprite, oh, baby, oh. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, no. Let's go take a look at him. I'm just so excited to have a Houndoom now. Oh yeah. Oh uh, okay, he's still he's still actually pretty much the same, but now we can start training somebody else. We can start training <gasps> We never got our Trico. I forgot, because we don't really need Minion now. Um uh, let's start. Actually, yeah, you know what? Let's go back and get our Trico. And then we can start doing some switch training with him since we got po Oh! Oh, there's grass here, actually. We can catch Pokemon. Wow, I am just completely oblivious to the grass. Okay, let's do that then, um, actually. So our Pokemon for this route, I think they're around 16 on this route. Is Never mind, it's a level 20 freaking Pokemon because I'm dumb and I don't know anything. 
Um, let's... Let's go into Sipper. Seismic Toss is actually, like, a really helpful move for catching Pokemon, because... I mean, I know, like, it can't get a crit or anything, so I'll probably actually keep Seismic Toss for a while, because it's pretty useful. Alright, so it could take another Seismic Toss, and it'll be in perfect catching range. Um... Then we get to Celadon, and we're going to get an Eevee and Celadon, which is... I think it's level 25, so that's going to be another hatch. So we can hatch uh, two Pokemon in this video. Why did I cancel? Which... I think we'll... Uh, well, I don't... No, that's right. We can't go to Fuchsia until after we do the um, Pokemon. The Pokemon Tower and everything, so... I just remembered that, but... Yeah, we can't even go to the Bicycle Path in... But, oh, we can actually go get Fly in this video. Then we can teach that to Nikestro, and he will have Fly instead of Wing Attack, and then we'll be able to fly all around the Kanto region and have big, happy, smiley faces. I like that. I love flying. So, we are actually having a nice little stock stockpile of Pokemon here. So, I'm really happy of how well this Nuzlocke is going. Eggalock is going, to be honest. I'm, I'm actually quite proud of myself. Uh, let's take... We've, like, not taken much from Box 4. Apparently, he's had a lot of illegals, I'm guessing. <laughs> Let's go this one up here, and we'll put our HM Slave in a box, because we don't need him now. Thank you. We have, wait a 12 reserve Pokemon. I don't think I've ever had that many. I mean, to be fair, like, half of them are, like, level 5, so assuming we need to use any of them, it's going to take a lot of grinding, but still, it's really nice to know that I've only lost three Pokemon so far, and we're ten videos into the series, because I'm pretty sure when I did Fire Red Omega, which, to be fair, Fire Red Omega is a hack and is a lot more difficult, but, like, if you watch part ten of Fire Red Omega, um, I think I was actually right about the same part of the game, because I think part nine was an hour-long special, and that's when I took on Gary in Pokemon Tower, so, yeah, it's, oh, ooh, a Cyndaquil. Yes, I will nickname you, um... Uh, I'm gonna nickname you. I'm gonna nickname you Pew. P U L E. I don't know why. I just remember seeing that name somewhere and I can't remember where, but. Uh, Lear, Tackle, Thrash. Um. I'm going to check up on that really quick. One second. Okay, so Cyndaquil can learn Thrash. That actually um, surprised me. So. We will get him up to level 20, and I will be right back. Alright, so Pool is now a level 20 Cool Lava with Tackle, Ember, Thrash, and Smokescreen. Unfortunately, we do already have a pretty awesome Fire type on our team, so he's not going to be getting much use right now. But, uh, and we, we also have Growlithe, so we kind of got a good supply of Fire type Pokemon for now. <laughs> but in the meantime, we're going to be going and getting our wonderful little Trico. We will begin some grinding up on him, because... I'm super excited to finally have a grass type on my team. It only took forever. So now we're going to make our way over to Celadon City where we will get our Eevee. And I will have, I think we have some more trainers we have to take on. Actually, yeah, I think we're like forced to take on. Oh, okay. That's cool. It's okay. We will be back to take on these trainers. I don't know when. We will take them on the same way I'm totally going to take on those trainers in Rock Tunnel, which I probably never will. But... <laughs> I just want to go get my freaking Eevee, okay? It's not that hard to understand. And we could also get the T here, so let's do that before I forget, because I will forget to get the T. And once we do that, we can actually go into uh, Saffron City. So I believe at this point you actually can take on the, um, the Fighting Dojo, but I'm not going to take it on yet, because I think their Pokemon are pretty high level, and... I'm not ready to take them on. But we could always go there and get Psychic, which I don't have anybody I want to teach it to yet. I don't think I do. I might be wrong. I'm not sure. Uh, actually, wait. Let's look at my Pokemon really quick. Lapras. Ooh. Actually, I might want to give Psychic to Lapras. I'm a little scared. I mean, uh, I didn't mean to give you a nickname. If, if Lapras dies, though, then my one Psychic TM is gone. So... Ooh, that makes me quite scared, because, I mean, I who knows if I'm actually going to get a Psychic-type Pokemon. There's a good chance I may never get one, so it's making me really, really nervous about that. Um, yeah. Okay, anyways, the Eevee is level 25. A lot better than this derpy old Eevee. Sorry. <laughs> and we're going to go box... Uh, we're going to go box 2. Let's take this one. 
Sorry, Trico. I know you literally like just joined a party and everything, but you're gonna be taking a little hiatus back in the box for a second, and we're gonna have third. Uh, I'm just. I'm sorry. I keep mentioning like how many Pokemon in reserve we have, but I'm just like really freaking happy with how this is going. And now that I said that, I'm gonna lose all my good Pokemon, and now I'm gonna be left with nothing but like Duns with Dunsparce and a Dratini that can't do anything. So, yay! Happy face. In the meantime, uh, let's go get the... I was going to say let's go get the coin case, but never mind. Let's go hatch our Pokemon. It's... <gasps> it's another Bill Awesome! Yay! Why are you doing this to me, people? I... <laughs> I can understand one Bill Awesome, but really? Two Bill Awesomes? I just... Oh, you guys are so mean to me. I did nothing to deserve your guys' madness. It's just... No. <laughs> no. I, this is, like, yeah. I, I was going to say this is the last time I'm going to do an egg lock, but considering that, like, I don't want to go through the trouble of doing it on third gen game again, and I can't even, like, run DS emulators on this computer, I think that kind of is obvious that this is going to be my last egg lock for a while. So, in case you're curious, I don't know what it's going to be yet. No, I'm not taking suggestions, but, um... We could go catch folk on a Route 16. We'll probably just do that next time because I'm kind of focused on the Eevee right now. Uh, I'm not taking suggestions for my next Nuzlocke, so there's not really any point doing it because I would just get too many suggestions. But it will be a Game Boy Advance or before game. Could go to first or second. It's a Bulbasaur. There's like a 99% chance this thing is going to be illegal. Let's wait and see. It's... It's cancelled. Yay. <laughs> Bulbasaur. It has teleport... Nothing, and then Thunder Punch. I wonder what that was supposed to be. I'm guessing it might have been in, like supposed to be an Abra, because apparently there's like a lot of Bulbasaurs that have like move sets for like a different Pokemon, and I'm guessing what people did is like they made the Pokemon and then they just forgot to change the type of the Pokemon. So, yeah. <laughs> Alright, let's try this yet again. Their third Pokemon. This is being a very difficult Eevee. And I know I probably should have specified when I did the egg lock that you can't send in like evolved Pokemon. But I honestly just thought that was like common knowledge that you can't hatch a Blossom or an Espeon or Scissor or that stuff from eggs. I mean, just. <sighs> egg locks have been like the thing to do on YouTube, so I kind of assume people would know how they work by now. But you always get those people, I guess. It's... <gasps> wow, I just said I wasn't going to get a Psychic type. What the heck? Okay. Yeah, I'm going to nickname you, um... I'm going to nickname you Nikki. Please, I actually hope this thing is illegal, because I would not mind... I hope this thing is legal, because I would not mind having this thing at all. Pound, Lick, Ice Punch. I don't even know if Lick is legal, but I'm not even going to bother worrying, because there's no way I'm keeping Lick anyways. So... Let's get this thing up to level 25. I want to think that it evolves at either 24 or 30. I think in Fire Red Omega, the Johto baby Pokemon evolved at 24, but in reality they normally evolve at 30. So this thing probably isn't going to evolve until level 30, which sucks. But I'm actually really excited because I've never used a Jinx before. Add that to the list of like the 5 million Pokemon I've never used before. And I know Jinx can be such trolls with Lovely Kiss or Sweet Kiss, whichever one it is that... Actually, both if you like have both of those, um, I'm just going to get rid of Lick now because I don't even want that move. If you have both Lovely Kiss and Sweet Kiss, you're just kind of a troll. Like, you have the perfect moveset in my mind for a Jinx would probably be Ice Beam, Psychic, Lovely Kiss, and Sweet Kiss. Maybe replace one of those with a different move. I would probably prefer... I don't know if I would prefer Sleep or Confusion because they both wear off. You know, with sleep, it's like guaranteed they're not going to do hurt, do anything to you. But with confusion, they have a possibility to hit themselves. So, it's hard to choose which one I would prefer, sleep or confusion. Which would you guys choose? If you had a choice, would you ha rather have a Pokemon be confused? Or would you rather have a Pokemon be asleep? I'm kind of interested to know what you guys would think. Alright, let's get rid of... I thought the punches had... Oh no, that's the fangs that have 95 accuracy. Uh, let's get rid of... Powder Snow, because Ice Punch is just a straight upgrade, since all Ice types are special in this generation, Ice Punch is in fact special, which doesn't make any sense, but it doesn't need to. And just like that, our newest hatch is going to be tied for our like most leveled Pokemon, so that actually is kind of making me worried that we're under-leveled at this point, but uh, I'm not going to worry about it. 
Okay, which which kiss do we have now? Is this the confusion one? Yeah, it's the confusion. Um, I'll just get rid of Pound, because I think Jinx actually has horrible physical attack anyways. So, yeah, okay. Uh, we're not going to be using Jinx or er, Smoochum right now, because I would much rather have Lapras at the moment. So, but I am super, super happy with this hatch, actually. I am not going to complain at all. I'm sorry. Let's go get our Trico, though. And next time we'll be probably taking on Erica, so I'll probably do a little bit of grinding. Because I think Erica's highest is like her 29 victory bell? Or it might be her vile poop. I don't know. Either way, we'll have some more grinding, we'll have some storytelling, and yeah. So until next time, thank you for watching. Thank you whoever sent in a smooch. I want to smooch you. Peace!